Have you ever noticed that sometimes tables are much easier to learn than others? The fives are a lovely one. We just alternate between numbers ending in five and zero. Five, 10, 15, 20, and so on. Why can't the sixes be that straightforward? Well, actually, they can. Multiplying by six is the same as multiplying by five, then adding another lot of the number that we're multiplying by. So to do six times three, we could actually do five times three, then add another three. And we can do this really easily using our fingers. We hold up three fingers and count up in five. That's five, 10, 15. Then we keep counting, but this time in ones. 16, 17, 18. Three times six is 18. Let's try four times six. We hold up four fingers, count up in five, that's 5, 10, 15, 20. Then we keep counting, but in ones. 21, 22, 23, 24. Four times six is 24. Now, if anyone tells you that you shouldn't be doing maths on your fingers, politely remind them that this isn't Victorian England. We're also allowed to write with our left hands and go to the toilet inside. Our fingers are the main reason we use the decimal system. They're the reason digits are called digits, and they're really good at helping us to visualize numbers. First, we represent numbers by physical object, then we start to visualize those physical objects, which helps us develop a really good number sense that will allow us to use numbers flexibly. Give it a go yourself with six times six. Remember, count in fives, then count in ones, times by six is tons of funds. For more times table tips and tricks, check out our clever times table bookmarks. Each one features the full table on one side and a helpful tip on the other. Find them on our website at summersofanarchy.com or comment Math and Magic below for a link to purchase. They'll make sure your book's ready to be read and your times tables stay in your head.